Hey guys, it's me, XMessageZX here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Guys, I am very, very excited because this is the final part of the game, and the true final boss. I am being, we have been preparing a long time for this. Well, here he is. The final boss of the game. Pokemon Trainer Red wants to battle. Now, he's always gonna start off with his male Pikachu, which is his most powerful one at level 81. In this game, it shall have Charm, Quick Attack, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Pikachu will have the moves Volt Tackle, Iron Tail, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. Pikachu will also have the Light Bolt, which will make all of his electric moves more, more powerful. So, hey, so if you're playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver, this one is going to be a pain. Not only that. But it will be five levels higher. So, but luckily it's not nearly as strong in this game. What I like to do is just send out my most powerful Pokemon and just go ahead with a flame wheel. It usually goes out in about two hits. Wow, that was really good. Okay, Charm, it lowers our attack, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and use a Flame Wheel. I knew that he has some full restores. And I think that he has multiple. I think that he has, like, three. That's why I found that it was a good idea to have another Flame Wheel. Because hopefully, you know, we'll do more damage. Let's do another full... See, he's just gonna spam full restores. On his first Pokemon, dude. When I was playing Red, I was smarter than that. I knew that you had to conserve them until you desperately need them. You have like five other Pokemon on your team. And look, I'm faster. He chose not to heal this time. And now that he got them rid of all of his healing moves, he only has five Pokemon left. Tokabe should be very close to a level up now. Thank goodness I have that experience share, so that um, Tokabe can naturally evolve right after this battle. Now he's gonna send out an Espeon with moves Mud Slap, Swift, Reflect, and Psychic. Um, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, he actually replaces it with a Lapras with the moves Body Slam, Brine, Blizzard, and Psychic. Remember that Lapras has like tons of HP. But, I think that I'm confident enough with just Expo out here. Uh, it's only three levels higher than me, and I managed to be faster than it. And I think that Red only has three full restores, if not only two. Now he's gonna send out a Reflank, which increases his defense, but not his special defense. And yes, this is the same Eevee that I got in at the game corner. And I got in a critical hit. And Togepi leveled up. Now Togepi can actually evolve immediately after this battle. Just what I wanted. Now he's gonna sound out a blast toice. Now Oh no! No, I wanted to switch out. I didn't mean to hit me. Ugh. But anyways, Blastoise has the moves Rain Dance, Blizzard, Surf, and Whirlpool. In the remake, he has Hydro pa Cannon, Blizzard, Flash Cannon, and Focus Blast. Now, you probably think Vance is a water type and take it out with a grass type like Sunbill, right? Wrong! Because of that Blizzard, in both versions, he'll wipe out your grass type in pretty much one turn. 
Basically, I highly recommend using the water type Pokemon instead, because then he wouldn't be able to do a thing. Now, what I did to defeat him last time was just spam double slap. And hopefully, um, his defense will eventually, um, draw him because that reflect. And that was a critical hit. Polybo is trapped now, but in a real bull and will progressively take damage as if it was wrap or bind. But that's not gonna stop me from using Devil Slap. Only keeps getting two hits though. Now he's gonna use Surf, which shouldn't do too much. At least I don't think so. See, not very effective. Still stuck, stuck in that Whirlpool. I think that the Whirlpool actually dissipates um, after a while. There's a Reflect down. Let's see how much Double Slap does this time. Wow, that's a, that's the first time I've gotten five hits, I believe. Okay, not the first time, but a lot since a long time. Because I rarely get five hits with that. Okay, when Polybo gets down to about half of his HP, that's when I start to heal. So, full restores, I bought plenty of these. And now that Espeon is gone, he can't really do anything with Reflect. I'm not bothering with um, Parish Song because then hardly because he'll switch out right at the last move, and it pretty much makes your effort completely pointless. And the rain stops, so his Wonder type moves should be weaker now, and my Fire type moves should be stronger now. Uh, I'm. Actually, I'm gonna try Water Gun, just to see how much that would actually do. About as much as Double Slap. Okay. And you know what, yeah, I'll use another full restore. His last choice is usually the one is I consider to be the more difficult to take down. At least for me, that is. If there, if only there was a duel, if only I had a water type that actually knew, um, grass type moves. Now that I'm free from that Whirlpool, he's probably gonna use Whirlpool immediately next turn. Or he's gonna use Surf. Yeah, much of this video is definitely gonna be up against his Blastoise. Uh, I'll try Water Gun. I'll alternate, I'll actually alternate between Double Slap and Water Gun. As you can see, it's a slow method, but... It's really all I got because he'll definitely take out any other Pokemon I have in just one hit. Okay, that was a critical hit. I'm not gonna risk it. Good thing I got 18 of these full restores. So yeah. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the longest Pokemon to take down. All the rest are actually not too difficult. Oh, water gun again. Unless he uses full restore, I should be good. Luckily, I think that he wasted it all on the Pikachu. And... Water gun. Very effective, but I'm sorry, game is the best I actually have. And this is really just tedious. Another water gun, and I'll think I'll finish you off with a slap in the face. If you if you do use full restore, I'm gonna 
just go ahead and just pause the video until I take out a, the Blastoise because you basically already know um, how to take care of him. There we go! Took a big gain a lot of experience. Now he's gonna send out um, Venusaur. Venusaur will have the move Sunny Day, Giga Drain, Synthesis, and Solar Beam. Um, I've actually noticed in quite a few attempts on him that he actually goes straight to Solar Beam, not even bothering with Sunny Day, even though that with Sunny Day he'll just um, use, he can use Solar Beam without charging up. Um, basically, I'll switch to a fire type because that would be a quad strength against his Venusaur. So I think that um, fire types are strong against poison type. So I'll just hope that he doesn't use Sunny Day. Or out. Uh, I might take him out in one hit, but I'm not sure. He has all three starter Pokemon, and they're all on level 77, just to have you guys be aware. Alright. See, he uses Solar Beam on the first turn. Now he can't even heal, and I'll end up taking him out with Flame Wheel. I don't know why, but he always seems to go straight to Solar Beam on his first turn. I mean, maybe it's because I have a Fire type Pokemon now, but. Now he's gonna use a Snorlax. He has two Pokemon left. Um, what I like to do is that I like to send down, um, Sudabo, because Sudabo actually has, um, Low Kick, which is a Fighter-type move, and, Fire, I mean, Fighting-type move, well, to be fair, the pronunciations are pretty similar, so Low Kick is basically, um, all I got against Snorlax, Snorlax has the move Amnesia, Snore, Rest, and Body Slam, he actually likes to use Rest and just use Nor to attack while he's asleep. Body Slam and um, Amnesia is good for increasing his special defense, but since I'm using physical attacks, it shouldn't even matter. In the remakes, uh, his Snorlax actually has the move Shadowed Ball, Crunch, Blizzard, and Giga Impact. And thank goodness he doesn't have another Pokemon with Blizzard, and Giga Impact would be terrible. Just flat out terrible. Anyways, let's go ahead with Low Kick. I don't remember Low Kick doing too much damage. And that's not gonna help you, Red, because that's special defense, and I'm using Rec. Regular attacks, not special attacks. I'm surprised he didn't use Rest yet, because he often does like to use Rest and Snore and. Wow, that, that was just mean. Luckily, I have um, leftover, so I do recover a little bit of HP each attack. Oh, no. See, that's what I'm worried about. And I don't trust Sudabone to do anything. Luckily, he can only use Nor in this position. So I'm healing my paralysis. And he didn't use Nor. Oh, he did. He did. It just had to remind me that it is asleep. Thankfully, it's not very effective, and I heal most of the way, so I can just go ahead and do um, probably three or four low kicks, and it should take him out be nice if I can get a critical hit. I really hope he doesn't wake up because he's gonna use rest again as soon as he wakes up. It's basically Red's strategy when he's using Snorlax. Thankfully he just used Body Slam. Well, he pretty much timed it. And he's gonna use either a full restore or he's gonna rest. Or he's gonna use Body Slam! Okay, thank goodness Sudabo 
Snorlax is notoriously slow, so I'll probably be able to pull it off in one attack. And there you go. I'm gonna have a little victory drink because he only has one Pokemon left. And I guarantee you, I take this Pokemon out in one hit every single time. And that swallow is much louder because the, uh, the headset and the mic is right against your mouth, but thankfully it doesn't bite. It bites less than my built-in microphone, which is, um, like two feet away. And Togepi grew another level here, catching up. Last is his Charizard with the moves Flamethrower, Slash, Wing Attack, and Fire Spin. In the remakes, he has Blast Burn, Flare Blitz, Air Slash, and Dragon Pulse. And it is much, much easier in this one. And no. I said no. See, I get my A's and B's confused because I'm using a keyboard. Now, guess what? Fire type is weak to rock type moves. Flying type are weak to ground, not ground type, rock type moves. It has a quad weakness to my most powerful and actually only rock type move. I take down this Pokemon in one turn. Let's do it. It is faster, but Fire-type moves aren't that strong. He will always just spam Flamethrower, which actually does look cool, but guess what? I missed! Oh, fine, I'll use a full restore and then do it. Alright, use a Flamethrower. I'm gonna take you out in the next turn. if not, I still have, like, six other Pokemon that are still alive. Let's do it. Hopefully, I don't miss this time. Hopefully, I don't faint. There we go. It should take him out in one turn. Maybe 11 levels higher than me. It should take him out in one turn. There you go! Down for a count! Should have all you haven't been very trusty so far. But you are definitely trusty in the final battle. See you evolve. Congratulations, Togebo evolved into Togetic. Well, guys. That was Pokemon Crystal, the second half. Um, I am... You know what? I'll put the ratings up on the screen since I always, um, do. If you remembered my Cave Story Let's Play, it's not... You would know that it is not the first time that I put up a rating multiple times, as in I put up a rating for, um, each of the endings of the game really did end there. For the few of you who don't know, Cave Story has three endings. Um, this game clearly has two, so I might as well put up ratings um, for this second part as well. Um, I said that I I actually do like the music, I mean, the remixes. I Actually, to be honest, I like the Kanto half of this game more than the actual main game, which, as you know, just become champion and such. But, I'm really, really like the second half, mainly because I grew up with Pokemon Red. It was honestly the only video game I had up until I was six years old. And six years old, and I even gotten a pretty bad game, which, interesting enough, it is a bad game. I even consider it a bad game, but 
actually, I'm going to, um, let's play that game next time. Now, if not next time, it would be the let's play afterward. Now, I only have about three weeks. Um, I'm recording this on the 1st of August, and I have to move into college on the 30th, the very last day, so... That gives me about three and a half weeks in order to... The end. Now they're gonna do the cute music. Okay, like I said, um, I'm recording this on the 1st of August, and I'm going to be moving into college on the 30th of August. That would give me, um, three and a half weeks in order to, um, pretty much until I move into college. And I just want to say the next three Let's Plays are going to be mini Let's Plays. I mean, th their length is going to range probably somewhere between the length of Ikachan and Mother 1. I'll guarantee you for each of the three weeks of August, I will upload a different Let's Play. Because I can guarantee I can complete these games in um, one week. In fact, these games that I'm talking about were intended to be beaten under one game. Uh, these, the first two games are games that I have grown up throughout my childhood, and I actually cherish them. Many people, I've actually showed these games to other people, and they say that they're terrible. I've seen, like, seriously bad reviews, but I actually still hold nostalgic value for them. Is practically the highest, because aside from Pokemon Red, the next two games are actually games that I grew up with. And, uh, yes, they're not good, but I love them anyways. I have beaten both of them, um, and it took me, um, actually six years. I never beaten either of them until I was 12 years old, and it was very exciting, and I got them both of those games when I was only six. And, of course, I got them Pokemon Red when I was three, so for a good three years, Pokemon Red was literally the only video game that I was ever aware of. In fact, I thought that the, at that age, if I... You would know that I would just assume that the Game Boy Color was the only video game system in existence. Well, aside, of course, from the little mini ones that you get from cereal boxes, but those aren't really systems. Either way, these games are bad, but I'm looking forward to playing them anyways because I want to prove to everyone that um, these two games are actually better than people think they are. And for my 10th LP, I'm actually doing something really, really special. It is a game that I guarantee you is the first game you will think of whenever you hear the phrase video game. And it's not Halo. Nor is it Call of Duty. Nor is it Minecraft. Nor is it Angry Birds. Or... Uh, this generation... I'll do two LPs, I won't spoil what they are, but you would know that the third LP that I'll be doing within the month of August and my 10th LP all together will be Super Mario Brothers for the NES. The two LPs that I'm going to do beforehand, um, I can't, I'm don't know what to feel about them. People say that they're bad. I don't think they're bad at all. But I'm looking forward to playing those games anyways. Well, anyways, that's it for Pokemon Crystal. Next time on my channel, two mini LPs plus Super Mario Brothers. NES version. And I very excited, um, and I can almost feel my heartbeat, but I'm, I'm just really excited for my 10th LP because I know it's being done like by a hundred people, but I think it's perfectly special and understandable to save that for the 10th LP. 
on, guys. See you guys then.